What's going on everybody? Today for us, it's Tuesday. And today for us, it looks like it might be SNES Tuesday. <laughs> Tell them what SNES Tuesday is, dear. Uh, they told us that the trucks are in, they're bringing um, the new systems. They're like stocking up the shelves with them. They can't set one aside for us because it's first come, first serve. That's right, gotta make room for the scalpers, boys. If you're scalping these off, by the way, shame on you. Shame on you. Now Margaret's got to look her best for when she goes to see all the game nerds. <laughs> you got to look your best for the scalpers that are lined up outside the game store. They probably are there. Yeah, well, we, you got to hurry up. I can't go. I know you can't. You got to go in my stead. I'm like Fat Man and Robin. What are you doing? I, you're, why are you having a stroke in this vlog? What the hell's going on? <laughs> this is bad. This means that I have no more makeup. Oh no, people have to see your actual face. Ah! Quick update around uh, the whole surgery thing and, and whatever. The painkillers last night, the oxycodones, they progressively make me feel worse. Like every time I take them. It, okay, when they're doing the pain thing, they do a great job of making the pain go away, which is wonderful. However, when they first start to kick in, there's that like sick, yucky feeling. My mom won't even take pain pills because they make of how they make her feel. And mine keep getting progressively worse. Yesterday, it was horrible. Like, it, I felt like I was gonna puke just from taking them. And you could feel the wave of, of crappiness kind of building. You're like, oh no, oh this is gonna be horrible. I gotta go lay down. You go lay down in bed. And then you can feel, it's almost like they knock me out and then I wake up. <sighs> My pulse went down to like 46 yesterday after I took them. But then you can feel the, like the wave of like crappy feeling going out your toes. It's weird. And then you just feel fine. You're just not in any pain. I tried to not take the pain meds and I woke up this morning. I'd last time, my pain meds wore out yesterday at like, I don't know, 11 at night or 12 at night. And I woke up this morning and it was like, oh my God, it feels like somebody cut me open and drove a truck into the wound and then parked it and left it idling for four days. It was just horrible. So I gotta take them, they're gonna kick in. Uh, no, I did take them and they're gonna kick in probably in like five or 10 minutes. It's gotta be horrible. She's gonna show up again. I'm gonna be all baked and like not good. And she's gonna be like, I got you on SNES Classic. I'm gonna be like, oh, it's horrible. I hate my life, what's going on? I also wanted to quickly show you guys what I've been doing on my other Instagram account. Not because I want you to go to it, but just, you know, I'm vlogging, this is it. This is a yellow backdrop. Oh, it sucks. Okay, I'm not doing a good job of actually showing you. Frig, they fell over, and when they fall over, their noses get scratches, and then they're ruined. We're all right, fossil arm. Seriously though, when their faces get scratched, they're pretty much useless, you gotta buy another one. But I've been taking these pictures for Instagram and uh, I've been having a lot of fun. A lot of people are really receiving the Instagram stuff I do for the Geek Channel really well. The thing is, it's kind of weird. I've had the Vloggingsons Instagram for the whole time I've had the Vloggingsons. And then it was just my Instagram beforehand. And it has less followers now than my Geek Channel Instagram. <laughs> which is like much, much, much younger. Like I've only had the Geek Instagram for like, I don't know, a couple months. And I've already got more followers on the Geek Instagram. That's gotta tell you something, how saturated vlogging is. I just think it's funny that the Vloggingsons Instagram has existed for like years and my geek one, which is only a few months old, has already surpassed it. It just goes to show, you need a niche. A niche. Seriously, it's 941. You gotta go soon. The scalpers, they're gonna be there and they're gonna buy like four of the systems each or something like that. We're not gonna get one. I'm gonna have to cry or something. I really want one. I, know. I don't even give a crap. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. This is for the kids, but it's also for me and for you. It's got Zelda. You like Zelda. We need to get one. Punch the scalpers in the face. <laughs> hey, look at me. Look at me. In the face. <laughs> the face. Okay. Punch okay. them. Oh, I need my other sweater. It's over there. All right. Oh, I wonder if that's the truck. There's a big truck going behind me. I'm here at EB Games. It doesn't look like there's any scalpers around. So hopefully I can get one for Brad and then take it home and make his day. All right, so guess who's back? And look what I got. Yep, she managed to find one. I only had to wait an hour for it. In the store for an hour. For an hour, but I was really thankful. They did not have like a big line of scalpers at the door before I got there. I was the first one there and 
I was like totally ready to like shame those scalpers, anyone who's like coming in after me. And I find out that there is a limit per per family. Right. One per family. That's it. So I don't know how they're getting like stacks yeah. of them. I've seen Kijiji listings where they have like seven on their dresser. And I'm yeah. like, how did they get seven on their dresser if it's one per family? They must they either work at the store or they know yeah. someone that works there that's a bastard that's bring I have no idea how they're doing it. I don't know. Or they're going like every single day and then they only took No, they one can't because picture? I remember day no, 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 no. Day one. That's right. Day was like, one I was seeing people day. with multiple I images they were selling. Oh, I got a few here for sale, so I'm yeah. for three fifty. I have no idea how they were doing it, but this EB Games is one per customer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They must have been pulling some friggin' magic or something like that. I have no idea. Pay they robbed the truck. I don't think anyone robbed the truck. <laughs> but yeah, this is what all the commotion was about. You get Star Fox 2, which was never actually released. The box here is actually smaller than what the Super Nintendo itself used to be. So that, that shows you how small the SNES Mini is. I'm going to open it up uh, before we finish the video. It won't be an unboxing video, but I'm going to open it up for them so they can see it. You never had one of these, did you, as a kid? No, we missed one because, I don't know, we had the Nintendo, but then we just went to the 64 when it came out, so... You missed an entire... That wasn't just a generation... That was like eight years of, like, gaming you missed. Oh, yes. We That's crazy. Did. How did you miss it? It eight years just to play Super Mario Brothers and finish. <laughs> You get a bunch of classic games too. Zelda, Super Mario World, Super Mario RPG, Mario Kart, Super Metroid, Final Fantasy, Kirby. Like, you missed some of the greatest games in gaming history that came out on this console. Yep. And you're gonna finally have the chance to play them. Yes, I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. The kids are gonna lose their marbles yep. playing with this stuff because they get to connect with like our generation and their ge It's gonna be good. It's gonna be awesome. So I guess the guy must have felt bad for us having to wait so long for this truck that ended up being late on the one day that I'm there. And they gave us a bunch of free stuff that was like sitting around in the store. So Brad's yeah. going to open it. They gave you a bunch of stuff, which is weird. I've never gotten free stuff. We got a Destiny figure and a... Are these the same thing? Yeah, I got four of them. One for each of the kids. <laughs> They're exactly the same though? Yeah. What the heck? Why is Rachel gonna want one of these? Well, because the boys get one, so... A Forza car. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let's. I'm gonna open one of these up too in the video. Okay, so all right. I'm just gonna quickly go through the bag here. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> oh, it's all the same thing. It's four four, four of everything. Balloons. What is no, balloons? no, those are... They're not just any balloon. Super Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Yeah, I thought it'll like that. Well, they'll all like that. And what is this, comics? Yeah, there's two comics in there. Apparently Maybe. they're like French and English or something. For zero dollars! Yes, free! Marvel vs. Capcom comic books. Yeah, the kids will like that. So we got Destiny si Side 6. Whatever that is. Destiny. <laughs> the cars. The boys yes. will like the cars. Rachel will probably keep it in the package. And we got yeah. the comics. Yeah, and, and I think... That's the balloons. It. And the balloons. And the bag. Yes. The bag is the Hey, it was part. free. Okay. Okay, I know I said we weren't actually going to do an unboxing, but it's just going to be like a little mini unboxing to show you exactly how small this thing is because it really, really is uh, quite small. You get the instruction booklet, you get the SNS Mini, and it's really tiny. Look at that. Here's my hand. That's how small it is. It's, when they said mini, they weren't kidding, but this little system here actually holds all those games from when I was a kid. That's how much the processing power and the storage power has gone up. Then you got cables and crap like that that ain't nobody cares about. <laughs> and then you got these little controllers. And I wanted to show you these. Look at that classic NES controller, but the cable is so short, it's, it's four feet. Yeah. And I think they used to be six feet back in the day, so they've cut off two feet, so we need the extenders. Yeah. Hey, how does it feel in your hands, though? Come on. It feels it's like a retro feel. It feels retro, you know. Is it know. the same? Like, they're the same size, though. Right? Um, the controller feels less heavy, less bulky. Hmm. It does. Like, it's the same size, but it feels like less than it used to. My phone's ah! ringing! Hi, Mary. Hi, I was Mom. opening and, and I was opening and videoing my uh, mini SNES retro, and you called, so now you're in the video, whether you like it or not. How you doing? I called you up to tell you that we were looking. So you're looking for what? Well, I called you up at the first place to be like, Margaret's going to UB Games to see if she can pick one up. That was pretty much it. And then I figured you were sleeping because we're two hours different. Yeah. 
But look at it. Look how small it is. Oh my gosh. It's so tiny, eh? It's how much was it? Uh, like a hundred something. It was like a hundred and something. So for you, that means it would be like 80 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not like you didn't get scalped though by scalper? No. no. We, we, call, we called there at 9.30 and then went there, like right from when it opened. And she waited around in the store for an hour. She got me one and then sent it to me. Oh God. <laughs> one per customer. Okay, so here's the dilemma. Do we play it now? Or do we save it for Christmas? I don't know. Is it an early Christmas present? It can be an early Christmas present. There ain't no, no because that. No, yes there is, because then the kids are like, I didn't get much to open at Christmas, and I had a bad Christmas. <laughs> but if we, if we wait till Christmas to open it, that's like a long time. Two months. Let's try and, let's try and wait till Christmas. <laughs> I know, isn't that like, painful? Then we gotta put it all back in the... I can uh, do that. I can put it all back, make it look Okay, pretty. you put it all back in the thing. I'll make it look nice. pretty and nice, and they won't even know. Hurry up and put it away before I change my mind. Oh. Yeah, how did this all fit in here? <laughs> With great difficulties. And highly trained people overseas and that know their exactly job. exactly what they were doing. Exactly. All right, all packaged up. All ready to go. Ready to go in the hidden presence closet. They won't even know that we opened it. They won't even care. That's even if it lasts till Christmas. Let's be honest here. We could be vlogging in a couple days from now. Like, we opened it. <laughs> that might be a thing, you know. It's like putting chocolate in the cupboard. You're like, I'm not going to eat it. Then That's you're like, right. Covered in chocolate the next day. <laughs> I know. I'm not going to have those donuts. By simply closing the box, it doesn't mean that I can open it again. You know we could open the box. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is true. <laughs> And just for good measure, I figured that I would do a tower of giveaway. That's all the free stuff they gave us. Comics, cars, K6. I know I've already showed you, but I figured I'd take a shot of it all together so you can see just how much free stuff they gave us. So that's what this thing looks like out of the package. Who the hell is it? People that play this game, I've, I've asked before, but you'll let me know in the comments, I'm sure. And why has he got a wrench instead of a gun? This is supposed to be a futuristic type of game. And she's gonna push the car into it. That we totally planned that. She was gonna try and make it look like it wasn't planned. No, it was like planned. Like she surprised me. <laughs> no, it was planned. Here, bring brush put the car here. It's a Porsche. That's not for a free item. I mean you can't really complain. It rolls really well. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Does this thing roll really well? <laughs> I'd call that a glide. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty good too. <laughs> Do you say Porsche or Porsche? It's frickin' blurry is what it is. Is it a Porsche or a Porsche? It's a Porsche. Oh. Read, read the bottom. Look. It says Porsche. Didn't you ever own dinky cars as a kid? Yeah, it but... shouldn't say on the bottom what it is. No, it's Porsche. Says, look. But do you say Porsche or Porsche? Porsche. There's no, it's a Porsche. It's called a Porsche. Except for it's blurry! Worse on it than I want to punch this camera in the nutsack. Yeah, I really should end it here though because there's no, I can't film the kids reacting to the SNES Classic because the kids aren't going to see it till Christmas as long as we can hold our wad and not bring it out, right? Otherwise, what? Oh man, I would mean, like for those parents that are having like a hard time not opening our kids' presents. Yeah, but this isn't even something from your childhood. It's something from my childhood. You missed it. You went from Nintendo. To, to N64. I know, but there's how did you, game on it. How did you miss an entire console? I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I was playing Nintendo and they were playing Commodore 64. This is true. Well, no, and then we had a Nintendo and we played like the Mario. We bought all the games for Nintendo. They kept us like occupied for eight years. How many Nintendo games did you have? Why have I never seen them? Where is your Nintendo? We didn't buy them. We rented them. From the like good old the days of renting. Store. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I remember that. You walk in and all the cases were that hard plastic. Yeah. It was like the thing to do while mom bought the stuff over there. That, like, she bought the stuff and then you went. And it was like, games. video games. Yeah. <laughs>
Anyway, okay, we should end it. Yes. They're bored. Look at them. They're so bored. They have a lot of things to do. Bored. They've got like groceries. No one has anything good to do other than watch us. That's what people do. They wake up in the morning like, oh, there's a morning since morning. I can watch it. <laughs> okay, that was dumb. All right, we're ending it. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're going to cover the lens. In yes. In three, two, one.